Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll demonstrate to you how you can do a cleanup of your unused Docker images, network, volume, and system in general. So in the world of uh, Docker, you call them pruning. So let's get started. So I'm, I SSH into my Raspberry Pi. You can use the same set of command to your Windows space of a Docker as well. Only thing that you have to do would be to drop your sudo uh, on your command. So let's say if you want to see what container you have on your Docker, you type sudo docker ps minus a for all. Like I said, if you have a Windows platform, you just type this docker space ps uh, space minus a and you're you're good to go. So in this system here, I got three containers. You can see one, actually one container here, another container here, another container here, right? And two of them has stopped, right? But the uh, fourth one, the second, uh, I guess the third one is running. So uh, in order to uh, uh, clean the container that's not running, what you type is sudo Type to here, sudo docker um, container minus sorry prune and hit enter. So every time uh, they want to uh, erase any of the container that stopped, they will ask you. So right now I've got uh, two containers that stopped. So they are saying, can I delete them? If you say yes here, why? you will see that uh, it got rid of two containers here right so now if you do to do uh, do a container ps all again you can see that there's only one container here so another way to get a list of container would be sudo docker uh, container list if you do this it will show you all the containers as well as all okay so that's how you get the containers list. So now the containers, unused containers or the containers that are stopped has been removed from your system. So let me clean up this guy here first. Okay, the next thing I wanna do would be to clean up uh, uh, dangling or zombie images. So to get the list of uh, uh, images that's on your computer would be to type sudo docker images without the S, ls. Will give you the list of all the images that's in your system right now right so some of those uh, images uh, not being used like for example this none here right these are just zombie images or they call it dangling in the context of uh, of the docker right so in order to remove them you type sudo space docker space image space prune space minus f so what minus F does is that it will not keep asking you whether you want to delete those images. So let's say for the sake of our demonstration, I'm going to drop the F again, hit enter. They will say, hey, do you want to remove the dangling images, right? So these two are the dangling images. So if I hit yes here, those two images will be removed. And the reason why they have multiple of these images is that they've got uh, other dependent images uh, that's uh, cascading down from there. So if I were to type uh, here again, go to Docker image ls, hit enter, you can see that the dangling images are gone, right? So there's uh, one way to clean images. Okay, the next thing we want to do will be to clean the volumes. There will be always be residual volumes that's uh, remaining on the system after you connect to your local hard drive and whatnot. So I've I've created two volumes in there. So uh, there's residual. So if you go Docker volume ls, you can see um, I got uh, this test volume here. It's not being used. Whatever data is not being used. So these two are just the one dummy ones I created a few minutes ago. This is my portainer data. We I don't want to delete them, right? But these two are not used and they are stopped. So in order to clean your uh, volume, you type again sudo docker volume. Use the word prune again. Now this time I'm going to press minus F. You'll notice that they will not ask me, are you sure you want to delete the volume? Hit enter. So they got rid of the two unused volume from my system. So now if I were to go sudo docker volume list, you can see only one volume 
that's being currently used by my port trainer is being maintained. So I'm going to clean this guy up. Next thing you want to do would be to clean your network. Right? I've created uh, two dummy networks like before too. sudo docker network list ls list hit enter you can see i've created uh, two dummy network here or residual network that uh, i have created for other projects um, this bridge here and this host and this none they are standard um, network right uh, they will never be removed this part of a docker right but this to a uh, custom network that i created for my container so in order to remove them will be go sudo docker network Again, use the word prune, and if you re put minus F, they will not prompt you. Are you sure you want to delete the unused uh, network? Hit enter. Two networks will be deleted. This guy here and that one here. And if you do sudo docker network list again, you can see there's only three networks that are in your system now, right? So that's how you clean network. The next thing you want to do, I want to show you, is the uh, system cleanup. So if you do, if you do sudo docker system prune, I don't want to put minus f quite yet, so it gives you a chance to say yes or no. So hit enter. It will tell you all the things that uh, they're gonna remove, right? Uh, all stop containers they're gonna remove, all network that's not being used by one container, all dangling images, and all the uh, built cache will be removed, right? I'm just going to say no, right, because I've already removed the containers that I have uh, stopped and uh, all my networks have been removed and dangling images has been removed as well. So I'm going to say no. Right? So uh, if you want, one thing you don't see here when you do sudo docker system prune is that you don't see volume. In order to remove volume from the system level, you go dash dash volume. You hit enter. You can see that the, oops, sorry. You can what you see is that uh, there's additional item here comparing to the default ones, right? All volumes now. So I already removed all the volumes. I'm just going to say no for this one here. Another thing that you don't see here is if I go all, is the, uh, the uh, images here, right? Uh, the dangling images. And this is without at least one container, right? So that's the difference between. Uh, removing this dang this without the all and with the all so this one the first command actually removed the dangling images which means there's no association with the container but this is all images with without at least one container right so this is actually legitimate image but there's no container associated with it so this is one way to do it as well and one thing you gotta know is that uh, this one also deletes the dangling caches right and and sorry, this one it deletes that dang, all the build caches, but over here, on the standard one without the all, uh, removes all dangling caches. So sometimes if you have an issue building uh, your container and you have the old residual program that's returning you with a wrong firmware version or whatnot or different version of PHP, you might want to run this command first. But make sure that uh, you know there's no other container that you're not requiring is not stopped, right? They're all running, right? So that you have to ensure that. So I'm gonna click no here. So those are the five or rather one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five ways to actually clean up your Docker so that you got a clean system. The first one was container, uh, clean container, clean the image, clean the volume, clean the network, and finally, last but not least, is a system. If this tutorial was helpful, please like and subscribe. Other than that, you have a good day. Bye now.